I think you mentioned a lot too that a mother is a patient as well. And the first we shouldn't forget in this scenario is the woman that will be carrying this child. So um, what you do currently is a safe way, and you've shown in history before that if the safe alternative is not provided, the patient as the woman could go find unsafe practices to abort um, the fetus, et cetera. Can you think, as of right now, would there be any alternatives to the safe practice that, that physicians provide currently? If that wasn't provided anymore, in your opinion, are there any other alternatives to that? So are there alternatives to physicians providing abortions? Right, like do you, I guess, if that, if that cannot be currently done, do you think that there is any way to prevent a woman from going out and seeking unsafe practice of that? History would suggest that it is not possible to do that. I mean, and this is just one year, 2003. I'm not sure whether the good maker has published uh, information uh, should must have. I don't have access to it, but um, I showed you uh, worldwide, one country, our province. I mean, it's not like this is a little anomaly in one little corner of the world. So the, the problem worldwide is is ongoing, and um, I think if we do deny a woman uh, safe access they are very resourceful. And increasingly, you know, through the internet and Googling and going on medical uh, websites, women are becoming more insightful to how to do this at home as well. And there are resources where they can become increasingly uh, a seal at this, not even necessarily doing criminal acts, or at least uh, harmful acts to themselves, but taking drugs like is it possible? They could actually do it at home on their own. Thanks. Um, yeah, I was just coming. I had a, a paper here by the IORG saying how faulty definitions of abortion, safe abortion, and unsafe abortion in reproductive health indicators for global monitoring lead to miscalculating the causes of maternal mortality. So I'm not disputing that there's a problem with maternal mortality but what the ultimate cause is for it. What are the other health conditions and, and lack of basic health care in the areas where we're seeing high maternal mortality that isn't related to abortion so much as it's just related to no good access to health care. So it's bigger than that. Um, but the second, I think, and more fundamental point that, that we need to keep in mind when we talk about this is if a woman does choose to have an illegal abortion, after support is offered for her to carry through the pregnancy, after all the help and resources are offered to her, she still chooses to do it, and she gets hurt. What is she doing that brings about her hurt? The evidence is she's ending the life of her offspring. Do we facilitate the harming of an innocent person because the person doing the harm also gets hurt? We would never give men boxing gloves to beat their wives over their heads. Time.